What's up everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to uh, the, the channel. Um, I'm going to start this video with an, an, a quick apology. Um, this is going to be super low, uh, <clears throat> I won't say low effort on my end, but super low energy on my end. So, yeah, I can barely even breathe. Um, but, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what, what I sound like. There's a terrible ways going on. And I'm just of no energy, but I'll just show you. Okay, everyone, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, example of the wheeze that's going on for some reason. <sighs> yeah, don't worry though, it's not uh, it's not stage 10 corona. <clears throat> it's, um, it's literally just a massive attack of allergies. It happens like every day, <laughs> but uh, today is particularly just shit, and I feel shit, but... Uh, that's the whole point of a challenge video, you know. It's supposed to be challenging, and this is a this is a top tier challenge. I'm literally on fucking. I'm literally terminal, and I'm gonna make the video. Don't worry though. Um, <coughs> I've stuff I can do to help. Uh, it's uh, drugs and drugs. Uh, I'm gonna take them and. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm really tired. I'm gonna do the video. So. Oh hell yeah. I also have this because I need like a massive like, caffeine dump because my eyes are literally shutting as I'm speaking and it's like one o'clock in the day and this shouldn't be happening. But uh, this might pick me up later on in the video. So when it gets back to me like in, in like later on in the day, <clears throat> I might be awake. Oh hell yeah. Alright now into the actual video and, and uh, stop with all the excuses. Okay, I'm gonna start this video off like I did last week. It's a choice between acoustic or electric. I'm kinda hoping it lands on electric because it'll be harder to do and it'll just be funny to see how the song turns out. Even though last week's song actually turned out okay, we are gonna work on that and make it a new one. Like a proper like redo up, but I have a coin here, an actual good coin, uh, all the way from the Alamo boys. This is gonna be aesthetic waiting here the the ping off this, it's great. So we're gonna go for Flags, his heads, and oh Jesus! I'm gonna say stars is a uh, his tails and um, heads electric, tails acoustic. When you hear the ping off this, oh that's aesthetic. Ah, oh! electric boys. <clears throat> so here we have my beautiful, <clears throat> absolute monstrosity of a guitar. It's in there. Uh, it's in ribbons like but actually I love the sound of it and I don't care what it looks like to be honest. I think it gives it a bit of character the fact that it looks like pizza shit. Uh, needs to be chilling horribly because I have not played this guitar in like, like fucking four days. I'm gonna tune it and, and stick it into the amp and I'll get back to you. Yeah, we're back and I'm tuned and I'm plugged in and uh, this is gonna be interesting because a lot of people actually just presume that I just play acoustic guitar all day but I'm actually really really good on electric. It's basically what I started off with. I don't even like singing, I don't like acoustic guitar either. It's just it's what you have to do because it's just the way things went. But first off I'm gonna say rest in peace poor old Eddie Van Halen. He, he he was like one of the one of the major fucking influencers on like my sound of guitar. I can never get nobody can get his tone anyway, but you can hear like the like you hear the way I have it kind of gritty, but it's like still chunky. That was terrible, but you get what I'm get what I'm saying. It's like. You know, people forget that he didn't like. He wasn't just an amazing guitar player. He changed the actual noise of the guitar. Like he, he impacted every single album after like Van Halen. Like guitar was basically just people just trying to emulate that sound for like a good ten years, and they all failed. <laughs> this is this particular like. This is gonna. This is gonna cause a lot of issues because I'm not sure because this sounds awful plugged into Studio One and the plugins that are there aren't the best. So I'm half. Half tended to try and record the amp and see how it sounds. 
and we'll just see what happens. Um, I'm not sure, like, because obviously with the other, with the acoustic challenge video I did last week, um, I was able to go, oh, I'll just pick a few chords and then put the cap up and down and try and sing out of them. But this, I think I'm going to try and come up with, like, a riff or some shit and then build it around that. And it's going to take a lot longer, but I don't care, because this is going to be fun. <laughs> I don't know, um, this is working out way harder than I envisioned. Uh, cool, but like, I usually sit down with the guitar for ages and go below the riffs, then pick ones that I like, and then I don't listen to them then, and then I come back to them a week later, and if they still sound good, I, I will try and make like a song out of it. Um, doing it on the day is a bit like, oh god, it's probably going to sound awful, but I'll, I'll figure something out, I'm still cracking at it. So I was thinking about throwing something like tappy wise in as like the melody part, but I'm not sure how it's going to turn out when I record it. So it's it's just it's a bit of a pain in the hole. Um I was thinking something like the this Them kind of, that, that kind of chord shape, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the tap part or just keep that melody in my head and then write the song around that and then just leave the tappy part out completely until I have the ability to record it someday. I, I think it sounds kind of sweet though. <laughs> There's loads you can build off of by doing that, but I don't know. I might just keep the little, like the little pattern in my head, kind of, and try and walk something around them. Just basic three chords and try and qu crack out like a quick song because this is take. This been like a half an hour, and I basically just sat here and just went like, just because it's fun to just noodle around with the guitar. Oh god, this is just becoming a bit of a disaster. I also don't want it to sound like a generic crappy fucking all you know, them shitty rock songs that you hear all the time that are just like. Yeah, like fuck. I goes like some crap, like. Then they just hang around the E and go. I really hate them songs now. I'm, I'm there's too many of them, and they all sound the fucking same. So I'm trying to avoid E at all costs and any like. kind of crap like I think you get what I'm trying to say like you know them my generic songs that are just all in E or I want to avoid that, that fucking not that like I actually love and fucking But I just, I uh, just, uh, I, I love it. But everything that came after songs that sound like that when it was new sound like absolute garbage to me. So I'm a bit stuck here. I, I want, to, I know like, for a fact I want to avoid E. Now I know that tapping stuff doesn't really work because I know myself. I'll end up doing ten hours of it just trying to record it and make it sound good. I think the original idea of just the, keeping the pattern of like. <laughs> you can do with them three like notes melody wise and scenes that have the little, the little extra part in there 
think it's in the same shape as the tapping I was doing. This is probably just a lot of nonsense I'm talking here, but I'm just trying to give you a little peek inside my brain. Uh, so I can either go like... Something like fucking... Although I might leave out the do 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 because I do that all the time just to see if anything works like that. So I'll get back to you if I have anything else anyway. Okay, I think I have like a basic structure. I dropped one of the cards and swapped it into some sort of. Yeah, I'll show you anyway. So I'm thinking something like fucking. Uh... As you can see, I tend to keep the like them kind of chords and the because it adds a bit of bass to it. Because I'm just I might as well explain it now. Basically, you haven't got a bass player and we have no interest so far in getting one at the minute, anyways. And we've kind of adapted our sound to make a sound bigger live. So I end up adding in the bass note myself to whatever chords I'm trying to do. Probably makes no sense to most of you, but you know, adapt overcome and <laughs> whatever that that is that saying is. Um, so it has actually affected our sound a bit. But I think I might use them three chords because it's, it's like an easy kind of beat as well. So I'm thinking yes on this, especially as like a verse. And I'll see what I can do about a chorus part. or Because melody-wise, this is going to be like cheers to, to sing over. So I'll come back to you. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I kind of have half melody vocal-wise. That's definitely going to be my verse anyway, the part that I showed in the last clip. And I have, I think I know what I'm going to do with the chorus. So basically, like, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I actually have the intro part now as well, so I'm just gonna obviously play on the whole same chord shape and go like one, two, three, four. into the chorus oh, into the verse then so I think I'm gonna use that as like a little intro part and maybe loop that back around to like a bridge or a solo or something like that song's not structured yet by the way this has taken way much more effort than, than the acoustic gumbo. but I'm getting it done it's, it's, it's coming together slowly but surely slowly but surely a little bit of an idea for the chorus part like vocally so like Just the idea, just the idea. I even might have something for a guitar solo, like melody wise. I have like. Something like that, or fucking. Not like that, but. You know, just it's in the. It's. Ah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm just going to run through what I have so far. I think this is basically it. I have the structure of the riff, the verse, and the chorus. So basically, the song done. So I'm just going to run through all the parts and show you how they loop together. And here we go. <laughs>
I think I'm ready to start to record and get like a rough version of it, Connor. Um, I'm gonna run you through how I'm gonna attempt to record this, and hopefully it sounds okay. Um, it is um, half difficult to record guitar through an amp into an audio thing. Usually, people like uh, me and Connor, we're very like not old fashioned, but we prefer the sounds of actual instruments. Like we prefer to record his actual drum kit and record my guitar from the amp rather than intro there, but because it's just it doesn't sound the same. It sounds a bit dead for some reason. So I'm gonna run you through how I'm gonna attempt to record this and show you what it sounds like. So now, thank God I have a mic stand because back in the day, which is literally about seven months ago, maybe uh, I used to record stuff by salad taping the mic to a chair and placing it in front of the amp and hoping it would work out. It usually didn't, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and attempt this now and see what happens. So I'll pick up the camera and show you. And as you can see I have the mic stand tilted and you can't really see this 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 speaker inside so I'm gonna try and uh, can you see that? Can you see this speak no you can't really see this this speaker uh on on the video but um my eyes can hit uh, are better oh I can kind of see it there see ah uh, it focused out <laughs> but you get the idea um put it I'm going to offset mine to the right a little bit and see how it sounds first. I'm going to try and position the mic around and see what, what way I like it better. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm out of breath again. Okay, I am, uh, so I can fix this. I am plugged in. Uh, I have my headphones on, which is connected to the computer. And the microphone is picking up the amp. So when I click record, I can hear the tempo of the song and play along, record along to the tempo of the track. So let's try this anyway. One, two, three. I already messed up. <laughs> Let's try it again. It is hard, by the way.
Okay, so, rookie mistake. I, I've been, been attempting to record the song all the way through like an absolute moron. Classic mistake I've made a million times in the past, which makes no sense. I'm going to record this section by section. Aha! That way, it's just easier to, to get parts perfect rather than relying on one perfect take, which I don't know why I do that. I'm an absolute idiot. So, we're going to do a section by section. Section 1, the, the main riff. Start it again. See? It's easier. That part's done now. I don't have to redo that part a million times to get to the verse. Do. I'm gonna record the verse <coughs> part. Let me just open a new track. Hold on. We record the chorus part. See, it's so much easier when you section it, I'm telling you. It's like a little glitch or something. It's basically all the electric guitar work done. Um, I think I'll leave the guitar solo for the end of the song. Or I might just show on little bits here and there just to spice it up a little bit, maybe yeah, after each verse. And I don't know what I'm going to do melody wise with guitar, doing other guitar parts. And I'm going to have to make sure everything's sectioned properly for so I'm going to record the bass next. And then I have a track to send over the corner because I can just hum some fake vocal stuff which I might show this time because it's funny to hear how songs grow from just me going <laughs> to random words into actual actual songs so I'll suss out anyway and that was an absolute effort to record uh, yeah I'm gonna show you a bit of it <clears throat> like the guitar is done now basically you can see on the screen actually you probably can't but there's a ton of tracks it's all gonna mash into one guitar piece and I have everything done and uh probably hear a cat crying in the background but I'm gonna show you what I mean with the vocals I'm just gonna mess with some stuff over it and show you what it's like. Right, so I have the track playing in my headphones so I can hear the music. And I'm just gonna riff vocally which means just act the bollocks with it and see what I can at least see what type of melody fits so I can start writing words and seeing what I like about it. So here's a quick take. It's it's literally gonna be talking bollocks and singing out okay. <clears throat> but yes ah, uh, whatever. Here we go. Now I have like a basic structure, I can, now I just do this over the whole song, send it to Connor, then I can start writing lyrics and stuff, and uh, I'll work on that while he's recording the drums. Um. Right, so I'm after listening to the song, and this is one thing I didn't tell last week, but what I usually do is I write out the song, write a little chart, or maybe I, for this case, if it's quickly, I'll just do it in Pro Tools. I'll write out the rough structure of the song. So for this song, I have uh, a verse, verse two, chorus, verse, verse two, chorus, uh, drum solo, guitar solo, chorus, and then ending. So it's a kind of stereotypical rock song kind of, um, I guess, uh, structure. But so what I've done is I've mapped that out and this song 
Um, there, it's easy enough, but there's a lot of parts to it. So the hardest part about this song is structuring it and getting it right. So for the verse, each verse, I'm going to do something different to the chorus. So yeah, I have a good idea in my head. It's just to do it is a little bit complicated, but I will get some shots of me playing now. See you in a jiffy. Right. So yeah, so I have the drums done, I think it went fairly well. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, which Adam did very well, was um, so a good idea when you're recording demos or anything like that, is um, say, you know, the name of the section, or say if there's a drum solo or a guitar solo come up, say it uh, through a mic and kind of make a little backing track for yourself when playing drums, it's very helpful. And Adam actually did this in uh, this song, so it actually helped a lot. But um, yeah, it just saved some time for me. So yeah, I'll show you what I did for the drums and show you what I mixed. So yeah, so like last week, as you can see, I have color coded all the drums the green, the guitars are blue. Master, uh, there's a click. Again, I didn't do a bus for Adam's guitars. He has yet to send me over the bass and the vocals as well. But um, yeah, so I'll just show you what I did for the drums. So uh, what I did was I panned all the drums. Um, I didn't do that last time. So as you can see, the bass drums in the center, 
The snare is slightly to the left, hi hat slightly to the left, uh, tom is slightly to the right, floor tom is all the way to the right, overhead right is all the way to the right, and then overhead left is all the way to the left. So this just gives a good stereo feel, and it makes you feel like it's you know a drum kit actually playing live. And then I did the exact same thing as last time. I used preamp, so I used the exact same preamp as last time. Uh, similar sentence. I used um, the Nova EQ. It's free, by the way. And I used the same compressor as last time. The VCA and yeah that is pretty much it for the drums and I just basically group them up and put them into a bus so in that way I can turn down the drums a bit without turning each individual one because you know it's hard to do the same so yeah that's all I have done for the drums so far yeah yeah so all in all happy with the song and um, I think everything turned out quite well and hopefully you enjoy the song and um, also one thing I didn't mention a lot of people might ask about mics so I use two overheads and then a mic on each drum and on the snare I use two mics one on the top and one on the bottom and yeah enjoy the song Yeah, we're back now. Um, back onto me. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's been like six hours. We started at one. It's now touching seven o'clock. I just finished me there, and um, I'm having major issues with uh, what Connor said. Not that it's it's bad. Actually, it's per everything's perfect. Music is perfect. There, uh, everything is done. Um, I'm having trouble redoing the vocals over the track that we have. 
finished like um everything's finished in the bass sounds good the drums are perfect the guitar's perfect uh, I, I, the only thing that's bad is the vocals now the vocals aren't like they don't sound they're not out of key like i'm bad, bad at singing them but they just won't mix <clears throat> like very well i don't know obviously I'm, I'm not great at recording vocals anyway i know myself like, that's something i really need to get better at and recording in this room really doesn't help um but i'll show you what i <clears throat> what i have now at this point and well, I'll try and mix it or, or see what the crack is with it. And anyway, here's the the forced mix. Would you would you call it? I think I'm gonna send Connor a mix and I think I'll send him what we have so far with my vocals separated and see if he can do anything with it at all because at the minute there's not much I can do. So I will show you what he does with it in this next clip. This will be like mix two. Come on, you, you come on. 
don't you find another one? And I try to be kind, but I'm waiting on the answers. And I fought so To be kind, but I'm waiting on the answers. And I fall to fall and die. <coughs> okay. Um. God, as it stands, uh, I don't think there's much more I can actually do with the track, um, vocal-wise, unless I, like, <coughs> buy, like, <coughs> a recording studio right now and set up with, like, noise mufflers and stuff, because I think the issue is, is that I can't put, this happens with a lot of the demos, I can't put the same amount of power I will put in as I, as I want. Two reasons. One is... I live in a loud house, and I don't have any sound. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for being weird. And I don't have any soundproofing, so it's impossible for me to get the power in that I need for it to sound. Because all I can do is record at like my voice set is at like medium level, and I need to. <clears throat> I'm at rec I'm hiring what I have, which is not powerful up. So it's just clipping to make it the volume I need to make it. I need to record the vocals properly, and I don't know how to. I'm just not at that level yet. So I think I'm just going to have to leave it as it is here and say this is the final product and it didn't turn out too bad it's the first time ever recording an electric song actually and it has a guitar solo and everything so yeah here it is oh and just before uh you go thanks for watching do you take eight hours plus dead in so i appreciate anyone that actually made it this far and hope you enjoy these videos so thank you you cry.